we need to work out 45 times 7.55. So we can set out our multiplication like this. So you might notice that here we don't have our place values lined up. We have units under hundredths and tens under tenths. But that doesn't matter as long as you remember that if there are two decimal places in the question, there will be two decimal places in the answer. So we can write decimal points in line with the decimal point that we have in the question, and then we can just multiply as we normally would if we were doing 755 times 45. So to start with, Although what we're really doing is 5 hundredths times 5, because we've put our decimal points in, we can just start with 5 times 5, so that's 25. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27, and 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is 37. Now we can cross out our working and write a zero as the last digit of our second answer line. Five times four is 20. Five times four is 20, plus two is 22. And seven times four is 28, plus two is 30. Now, if we add up our totals, because we've already put our decimal point in, we can see that our final answer is 339.75. So now pause the video and see if you can work out 42 times 4.99. So we can set out our multiplication like this. So rather than putting our largest number at the top, what we can do when we multiply decimals is put the number with the most digits at the top instead. So, because we have two decimal places in our question, there will be two decimal places in the answer, so we can write decimal points in our answer lines, underneath the decimal points that we have in the question. So now, we can just multiply as we normally would if we were doing 499 times 42. So to start with, Although what we're really doing is multiplying 9 hundredths by 2, because we've put our decimal points in, we can just start with 9 times 2, so that's 18. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. And, nine, and 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Now we cross out our working, write our 0, and 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 4 is 36 plus 3 is 39. And 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3 is 19. So if we add up our totals, 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 6 is 15. 9, 1 plus 9 plus 9 is 19. 1 plus 9 is 10. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So, because we've already put our decimal point in our answer, we have 209.58. Now, we need to work out 45 times 21.35. So, we can set out our multiplication like this. So, again, we don't have our place values lined up, but that doesn't matter as long as we remember that if there are two decimal places in the question, there will be two decimal places in the answer. So we can write decimal points in our answer lines underneath the decimal point in the question, and then we could just multiply as we normally would if we were doing 2135 times 45. So let's start, five times five is 25, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17, 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now we can cross out our working, 
write a zero as the final digit of our second answer line. And now 5 times 4 is 20. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 2 times 4 is 8. So now adding up our answer lines, 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 0 is 7, 6 plus 4 is 10, 1 plus 0 plus 5 is 6, and 1 plus 8 is 9. So because we already have the decimal point in our answer, we have 960.75. So now pause the video and see if you can work out 325.6 times 84. So we can set out our multiplication like this, putting the number with the most digits at the top. So because we have one decimal place in our question, there will be one decimal place in the answer. So we can write decimal points before the final digit of each of our answer lines. Now that we've done that, we can just multiply as we normally would if we were doing 3,256 times 84. So to start with, we have 6 times 4, so that's 24. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Now we can cross out our working and write a 0 in our second answer line. Now 6 times 8 is 48. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 4 is 44. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20, and 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 is 26. So now adding up our answer lines, 4 plus 0 is 4, 2 plus 8 is 10, 1 plus 0 plus 4 is 5, 3 plus 0 is 3, 1 plus 6 is 7, and nothing plus 2 is 2. So because we have our decimal point in our answer, we have 27,350.4.